sits in a great temple and he's going to be given God-like titles and he's going to be actually worshipped. He is clearly the second beast of Revelation 11. He is the Antichrist. Well, <clears throat> first and foremost, we have to remember that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu had said in an authentic hadith found in Ibn Majah, ما بين خلق آدم إلى قيام الساعة أمر أو خلق أكبر من الدجال. There is no trial from the time of Adam's creation until the last hour greater than a dajjal. No matter how bad or how difficult times may seem to us, there is a time to come which will be far greater than anything we can imagine. The Prophet ﷺ warned us of it. And he informed us in doing that, that he was following in the traditions of the prophets before him. Alayhim salam And he said in a hadith which can be found in Sahih Muslim, Inna Allah Azza wa Jal Lam yabaath nabiyyan illa haddhara ummatahu min ad dajjal Indeed, Allah most great and glorious did not send any prophet without having them warn their people about the coming of a dajjal And since Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was to be the last of the prophets of God, there was no prophet to come after him. Then his responsibility in terms of informing us about the Dajjal was that much greater. While the 20th century taught us that we share a common destiny, the 21st century has revealed a world more intertwined than at any time in human history. The fall of the Berlin Wall brought new hope, but that very closeness has given rise to new dangers, dangers that cannot be contained within the borders of a country or by the distance of an ocean. Think about it, the terrorists of September 11 plotted in Hamburg and trained in Kandahar and Karachi before killing thousands from all over the globe on American soil. As we speak, cars in Boston and factories in Beijing are melting the ice caps in the Arctic, 
shrinking coastlines in the Atlantic and bringing drought to farms from Kansas to Kenya. Poorly secured nuclear material in the former Soviet Union or secrets from a scientist in Pakistan could help build a bomb that detonates in Paris. The poppies in Afghanistan come to Berlin in the form of heroin. The poverty and violence in Somalia breeds the terror of tomorrow. The genocide in Darfur shames the conscience of us all. to see for myself. What do you believe?